Well, with prices rising on just about everything these days, you may be looking for ways to save on your, well, energy bill. 2031's Chris Tatum is looking into things we can all do to keep those costs down a little this summer. One of the first things I like to do in the morning when I get up, open those curtains. Let that morning sunshine in. Just one problem, that sunshine can heat up a house quickly. You might want to consider keeping these curtains closed, at least in the middle of the day when it's hottest outside. Now, I've got a lot of tips I've learned I want to share with you, but, well, I'm having a little trouble doing it, so I've invited a couple of friends over you might recognize to help me. And it sounds like they're here. Come in! Ooh, it is muggy out there. Steamy, too. Ooh, it feels cool in here, though, and a good way to keep that cool air inside is by checking the cracks between your windows and your doors, maybe even using some caulk to help seal it on those windows and underneath your door. Megan, Luke. I got some coffee brewing in the kitchen. Come on. Well, cooking inside always heats up the house. So maybe this time of year, head outside, fire up the grill, cook your dinner out there and eat it inside where it's nice and cool. Good idea. And here's something you probably didn't think of. All those displays on the appliances, well, they generate heat, but they also burn electricity. So when you're not using them, turn them off or even unplug them. One great way to circulate cool air throughout your house is to use ceiling fans, but this time of year, make sure that ceiling fan is set to turn counterclockwise. That drives that cool air down toward the floor where you can enjoy it. Bottom line, following some simple tips like these won't just help keep your house cool this summer, could actually help keep you from losing your cool when you get that summer electric bill. Well, Megan and Luke, Chris Tatum, Way 31 News.